Welcome to the stream. Let's do some more vampire survivors. I feel like doing it. Uh, yeah. If you're watching this later, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you've been enjoying me playing through vampire survivors from time to time. And I am. Um, I just was going through the list of achievements, I guess. So there's one to reach level 80 in Inverse Mad Forest. So I'm going to try that one. Um... Let's pick a character that hasn't done Mad Forest. It's probably the right way to go. Hmm. Yeah, let's try you. Why not? And, um... We want Mad Forest, we want Inverse. Okay. You know, we get to listen to more of this song. I'm going with what I think works with a, uh... Well, something that's periodic, it's supposed to cool down base. Okay, that's our AoE spell. And I'm going to be going Duplicator. I have confidence I can do this with this character. Sticking with this for now. Okay. This is a bit of a duality thing. I want to get movement speed, so have a couple of free slots. Okay, there's duplicator. That's two evolution secured. Just spreading myself too thin here.
I'm gonna rely on Summon Knight as much as I can. Okay, that's good enough. I have not locked out when it comes to movement speed. Trying to secure evolutions. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Careful with this, this makes this a little more bearable. Lock, all right, and heal. Okay, that's most of the evolution secured.
I'll increase the area a little bit. Getting a little bit sketchy. Have to be patient. I think I definitely need to get more movement speed. That is effectively my cooldown reduction here. Caption I saw the notification made you think I was playing Catherine. What? Why? Uh, because Vincent's phone goes off and then it just means he's gonna do something dishonest. Maybe making his situation worse. Nah, no, I, I finished that already. Well, this is not good. Man. Yeah, okay, I still got another life left, but... So it's definitely not looking good. I think I definitely needed more personal protection, but... I'm not gonna get it now. I oh, know, that kind of works. Alright, do that. Am I doing alright, Sam? They just wrapped up work. Had a bunch of stuff to do today. Had to get up early. Yeah, I've never really disliked the main character so much. 
I mean, maybe I have, but in recent memory. This might help quite a bit. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I think honestly that's all that was missing. Oh my god, what is this? Not. Ugh. Inverted is so hard. Okay. I mean, this character I think can do well. It's just... I think I need to get movement speed early, so its attacks go off sooner. Definitely want that sooner as well. I think that was probably the problem. I just didn't have enough self defense. Just keep stacking this. I mean, worst comes to us, I'll just swap characters. But I feel like this character is right cool. Stupid bats. Oh my god, they won't go away. I don't get the weapon, but then I saw movement speed. Alright, cool. That works. It is three levels away from max.
Uh. Oh yeah. I might just do this. I don't. I don't want to waste too many rerolls. break here. Yep, right, nice. I can't really tell how this is going yet. Saving that reroll in case there's something that I really don't want.
Oh, whoops. <laughs> Stupid tree. I mean, last time as soon as the skeletons appeared, that's when it kind of went to shit, so we'll see. Too much. Okay, that's already. I just need the orb. Just grab this. There's two others I can get. Your choice here. I'm just gonna get up. Use it or lose it. I messed up. Duplicate up. That's like an easy rank up for everything. Okay. That was a budget move. Look at all the jabs!
Yes. All right, good. Okay. I might have a chance now. Oh my god. <laughs> All the werewolves. Okay, there's a track orb. Radius bigger. Perfect timing. Unfortunately, don't have enough to level it up. One more. Jesus' character can withstand a lot. Uh, okay. I'm doing this. I'm hoping that just constant holy water will help the situation. Doesn't help when I can't actually go collect stuff. Jeez. Oh my god, there's not a chance I'd be able to do this without Laurel. It's already bad enough. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why no upgrade? I have... Oh no, I don't have the orb. I think it needs to be one more rank. 
Okay, whatever. Okay, there we go. Now I just need the chest. Going in. Oh, okay. This might make things easier. Having decoys. Okay, I'm going AOE. All I have to do is hit level 80, that's all. I don't have to complete it, just level 80. Ah, what is this? Why did that suddenly become so... Oh my god. Why has it suddenly turned horrible? Ready to upgrade? Mm, not really. Just get it. Okay. Oh, this is horrible.
Oh my god. Where am I right now? I'm like right near the middle. I haven't even moved that much. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, what should my last item be? Let me look at this. Duration, maybe? Mm, but duration's not really gonna help. Uh, maybe for the claw thing it'll help, actually. Alright, do duration. And for water as well, I guess. I can make it overlap. I'm just getting these right away. Yep, that's why! Okay, I'm gonna wait for the other ring now. Just have to circle a few times. Come on, kill, 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 kill. I need more experience. I don't think that's enough. No. Wow, that's all. That's all that was there. Not much has died. Yeah, here's a problem. I'm supposed to hit level 80. I'm not even anywhere near that. Even if I do survive, I won't hit that goal. I am severely lacking in experience here. Ugh, that was sorely needed. Let's go. Alright, got it. We need to cut through this. Excuse me. Please me more damage. Just not killing enough stuff. Uh.
I may have to do like a, a crown build here. I think I'm gonna win the stage, but I'm not gonna get what I was after. Stop. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's just trust. Trust. Stuff does appear to be dying. I got two minutes. Trying to make the holy water as strong as it can be. Hopefully it'll carry me. Just a minute and a half remain. Alright, that'll work. Labora. There it is. Twenty seconds. I'm not gonna get to level eighty. You never know, but I I, I doubt it at this point. The build works, but yeah. Wait, what? You're telling me this works? <laughs> they're, they're confused. Yeah, this build is good. It confuses them. I mean, not forever, but enough that I can, I can kind of make an escape. This is not what I was expecting. This is the build I was looking for, one that lets me last.
Oh god. I mean, eventually it'll be too many Reapers, but... Cool build. Apparently still longer to level up. Um, I'll see that. Oh, that is three of them! <laughs> oh, God. She's perfect for dodging these. I'm gonna have to keep this in mind for the ones where I have to survive extra, extra time. These illusions. I still have a revive as well. <laughs> Four rapists! <laughs> I don't think I've ever survived as long as this. Holy shit. I still can't believe this is going. That's 34 minutes! Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> I've survived. Five whole extra minutes. Five whole extra minutes! Okay, I need to be prepared. This one's gonna come to me. I'm surprised one of them hasn't died yet, honestly. <laughs> Can I juke them for another four minutes?
This is getting hot off. Three minutes. Okay, I got another life, I think. Yeah. Go. I made it to 38. I think if it wasn't inverted, I probably could have done that. What stage do I need to survive that long on? Okay, on the dairy plant, apparently, and... Okay. I mean, I won. It's just, uh... I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve, which... Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with you. You're pretty strong. And we're gonna go with a pentagram build. I feel like I haven't used garlic in ages. This is probably the strongest character to be able to do this with. But, and with this whip evolved, it should be enough stopping power to take out stuff. Even if it's super strong. Uh, garlic as well because Red Heart is on the map. Okay, I'm going with this. because we got a couple of freebies, so...
I mean, it's my hope that I don't have to do pentagram, but I'll, I'll probably do it. I want to be unmatched in close range. Okay, there's pentagram. Let's do it. Because knives can carry for a while. Damn it. It's okay. I have to do it. I need to get the pentagram to a point where it's not erasing items. It'll pay for itself eventually. I just want to guarantee that I do get as far as I need to get with it. I'm just interested in the level 80, not really the completion of the stage. Okay, uh... Alright, I'm gonna invest in this. I guess I don't really want to level it up that quickly. Just thinking. Yeah, probably. I'm just thinking where I want this to go. That's handy. Unfortunately, it erased everything. crown.
There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Just keep relying on that. Hey, there we go. That's something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't have a high range. It's all right. Okay, there's crown. Two more. One more. Ooh, these things are tanky. They do not go down easy. Getting it. <laughs> Just in case. to risk it. Alright, let's go. Now it's all worth it. Let's see. What do we want? Yeah, I guess let's do that. I'm trying to secure my passives in now. Uh, the heart is a little bit of a way away.
Oh, look at how glorious that is. Uh, I'm just thinking duration, duration. Hang on. No, cooldown. You want cooldown. Um. Yeah, there it is. Now let's go for that freebie. Maximum garlic. Gotta go back. Shit. It's okay, we've got a res. One. Everything should be okay. Play. Bringing this up to max. Okay, there's the ball.
play amongst stop time. <laughs> as long as I keep moving. I can take this up as well. Hmm. Hey, Laura, what's up? Yeah, let's do this. I like the idea of this. I'm sure I'll be able to get the rings at this point. Hope I'm not getting too cocky here. Getting scary. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to the fence. Twenty more levels and then I, I get what I'm looking for. I don't care if I don't finish the stage, I just want the achievement.
Go cool down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it suddenly crowded? Last longer. That's a good call. Okay. Then they're frozen in time for a bit longer. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, uh... Wings. And this is working! I just need it to die so I can move on! How's this thing not died yet? Fire, I got the fire, I got the fire, I got the fire, I got the fire. How have you not died yet? There we go. Alright, we're moving. I can do this.
that far. Wow. <laughs> Still ages away. Okay. The vendor's still in the middle. May as well. Uh, Alright. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get it done. I just want to fully secure it. the golden ring. Okay. Now I'm gonna hang here for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this now. have to play within stop time. Excuse me. Okay. No, I should be fine. Well, I hit level 80, so I achieved what I wanted to achieve, so I'm happy. There's only two minutes left anyway. Gold ring, gold ring, alright. I just need a chest. Holy crap. Eight. 
And banish that because I don't want to increase health. I'm good. There's one minute left. I think I can just stand still now. I should be doing the job regardless. It's really not gonna let me finish the item. All right, I get it. I know what you did. Okay, avert your eyes if you're photosensitive. Going for the kill. I should be able to get it. Facing the wrong way. Whoops. Oh, good. I have two of them now. That wasn't my intent. I might not be able to fight them. Now we can just die. I love how it just comes at you no matter what. Level 80 and in inverse a mad forest. So, do we now have something called back count country? Not back county. Uh, okay. Let me look at the Steam achievements. So, reach minute 31 in the library. That's what I'm gonna do. This character, I've learnt, is good at doing it, so... Normal, and go. And then I'll play some Wind Waker. I think that, that'll do pretty well. Wow, I've already got the two items that I, I want for this. What a great start.
Wait, all of the items on stage. Cooldown book. Alright, and mask. So I shouldn't bother with cooldown book. Not that I would on this character anyway. Duplicator. This character gets a lot of rerolls, I just realized. Okay, at that. This should be straightforward. If I could last up to 38 minutes on inverse, this should be fine. Uh, I do want this, so I want to secure this. Max, right? Yeah. Oh no, one more, one more. Okay, I just need one more orb and that's ready to evolve. Chest.
want my movement speed. That's the only item that I feel like is necessary for what I want to do. What? <laughs> Where is it? But do I need to be a particular minimum level to get out? That might be another requirement. Okay, whatever. Um, sure. Side heading to the left. Doesn't want to give me movement speed. All right, let's just get Rune Trace already. I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna get this this time. In the interest of surviving. my weapon build. Now I need the passive build to be finished. Is my luck. How has it not evolved yet? Uh... No, come on, give me movement speed. Okay, there it 
is. Uh, that's what I wanted. That is effectively cooldown reduction for this character. I should have got on the spellbinder. It's okay. Spellbound, uh, alright. Let's build complete. I feel confident this is going to work. Oh yeah, there's... Empty time... I'm not sure that does anything on this character. But, since it's free, I guess I can't complain. I'm just going to go with what I know works. I'm going to assume that book does something, but I don't want to waste levels on that yet. Sorry, you missed the message yesterday. I tabbed out for it. Oh, it's all, it's all good. I just thought you weren't in the mood to talk or something, so I just watched for a bit and then dipped. Always in the mood to talk to me. Well, good to know. Wait, oh, I got the book without thinking. What I would like to think it does is kind of lower the amount of distance I need to travel, but. I don't know. Did I finish Zelda? Nah. I'm gonna play it after this run. 
I uh, guess I need to find where to go. Did some reading of the lore. <laughs> the lore is cool, but I think I don't. I'm not convinced they had it all planned out. At a certain point, I think they were like, "Oh yeah, no, we need to make this cohesive." But initially, I don't think they planned too much continuity between the games. It gets kind of messy with the timelines and everything. Wait, where's the book? I'm directly on top of it, where is it? Ah, yeah. Okay. And then there are like two entries that they just forget about, even though they are technically official games. Wait, is it two or three? I think it's three. But yeah, there are three games that have a very interesting piece of history behind them that Nintendo doesn't acknowledge ever. Definitely one of my favorite franchises, because I mean, I grew up with the original. Whenever I'm being stubborn in a game, or like just overcomplicating something or maybe discovering like a bug or a glitch that's because of that first Zelda game just taught me to just check absolutely everything even when something seems like a brick wall just check it again <laughs> I guess I shouldn't get the end result of the gold ring. As I don't want to murder too quickly. Like, I just want to be able to survive, but not really murder the final thing. Now look what finally decided to appear. Should probably be leveling up left, actually. Because that I definitely want to combine. Okay.
All right. Got my decoys. It really does take forever to get from one end of the room to the other. What's my primary platform at work? What do you mean by that? What I work with commonly? Oh, uh, Figma, primarily. It used to be Adobe, but I made the decision to try and get our company away from Adobe as soon as possible, as uh, they're a bit of a monopoly and yeah, they're just annoying when it comes to pricing. And it was certainly the right choice. Unfortunately now Figma got bought by them, so... I mean, we'll see where that goes. We are the largest Adobe licensee. Yep. I know. The graphic design studio I used to freelance for... They used to send someone to LA to purchase a copy of the Adobe Suite because it was cheaper to fly someone out there than it was to buy it here. Student copies? What's that? Oh, you students want to learn our programs? Okay. No worries. We'll give you a special student discount. That'll be $800 up front, please, if you want one of the uh, specific editions. Or if you want the master collection that has everything, that'll be $1,500, please. You, student, you. I will admit that, like, as far as graphic design tools go, Listen, like, particularly Illustrator, there's a reason it's, it became an industry standard. It is a good product, however... Just... That company has just been grabbing more and more money. Or trying to. And it's kind of gone from just, oh... You know, it's, it's a tool that does the job well to like, hmm... Starting to get a little egregious in terms of what it's asking you for. You heard XD is the preferred now? Uh, not at all. XD wishes it was the preferred. XD was something that Adobe was lazily developing because um, people were shifting over to Sketch. So they felt a little threatened, and then Figma kind of came in and started taking a large percent of their market share in the uh, UX world. So instead of competing with Figma, they just bought them out for like one of the largest IT acquisitions in history. Or at least recent history.
You love the description model. Yeah. That's why I was telling people to use Figma because it still is. You can use it for free and it's got, you know, you can do enough with the free version that you don't ever need to buy it, really. Right? It's only when you start creating like a serious project and you need multiple people working on it, that's when, of course, you start paying for it. But even the cost of that is not that much compared to the creative suite, so... It doesn't do what Photoshop does at all, but... You know, for the majority of general graphic design duties, it does the job. The name XD has meme value. Uh, listen, the name Adobe has meme value in Australia. Our government um, had this inquiry into the pricing of digital goods in Australia. So they basically summoned Microsoft, Apple, Adobe, I forgot who else, but those were the main three. And so each of them had to give reasons as to why Australians were paying more in a, in a digital marketplace, or like in general. So, you know, Apple and Microsoft were saying their pricing for their first party stuff, it was generally okay. And there was truth to that, it was just companies can set whatever pricing they want. So, you know, EA, Activision and all that, that's them doing that. But then Adobe. You know, their, their CEO goes before the Australian Senate and, you know, they gave him the example of uh, that it was cheaper to fly to LA and purchase the Adobe Suite than it was to purchase it in Australia. And they asked him, you know, how, how does Adobe justify that? And his answer was, and I wish I was exaggerating, Ah yes, well you see, Adobe is coming up with solutions such as the Creative Cloud. And the Creative Cloud will enable the future of creative people. And so the Senator, confused, looks at the guy and rephrases his question and goes, Okay, let me rephrase it. Why are you charging Australians anywhere between 50 to 70% markup on Adobe products? And then the guy again goes into like a five minute speech about the creative cloud the guy didn't answer the question ever like the video is, is i don't like to use the word cringe but like it really makes you cringe and just angry because <laughs> the guy is quite clearly dodging the question so you know he doesn't answer it and then later on they they release a statement and you know, they said, Adobe provides Australians with special services, such as a localized version of the Adobe website. Now, for those of you playing at home, what localized means is you take written form or media and you translate it into whatever country you're going to release your product in. So apparently Australians don't speak English, so they couldn't just reuse the British version or the American version. No, we got our own special website. And that's why we have to pay 70% more. So ever since that, that whole debacle, like, you know, I was following it pretty closely. I was like, yeah, I need to get away from Adobe products. I just straight up need to not use their stuff where possible. Don't forget about localized imagery. Yeah, that too. Um, so, yeah. I made the decision then and there to try and get away from it. It is honestly my hope that one day I see Adobe as a company kind of just collapse due to their monopoly in the graphic design world finally being taken down. I thought uh, Figma as a product was going to be, you know, the start of that, but then they bought Figma, so... Guess I'm going to have to wait till the next contender pops up. You would be pirating them so hard. Oh no, everyone would, like... 
Surely they must know that their, their software is, is pirated. Like, surely they know that anyone who's maybe a millennial or, like, anyone born after the year 2000, like, surely they, they appreciate that, like, the way they learn Adobe software is by pirating it. They have to know that. How does Canva fit in there? I've taken a look at Canva. I mean, Canva's not really the same as Figma. Canva's more in the line of just general graphic design. Like, I can't, for example, use it to design, like, a, a an app or a product. I mean, I could, but it just... It wouldn't be as good as, say, Figma or even Adobe XD or Sketch, assuming those stick around. You can certainly do it, but it's just, it's not made for that. Like... But, you know, stuff like Canva is good to have, because it's just, it's competition at the end of the day. And if more people are using it, it makes Adobe sweat, so... I'm all for it. Even though it's personally not my thing... I would much rather as much competitors to that company as possible. I mean, talk to any graphic designer, or like... Anyone that's really in the- particularly print designers. Okay, chat, you want to hear what Adobe did? I know we're talking a lot about graphic design and the industry that I'm in, right? But, like, listen, this one is- it's so insane. If you know anyone that works as a graphic designer and designs, like, uh, books or just anything that you have to print, whether it be clothing, books... Listen. I don't know how to put this, but, like... I'll just say it, and I'll try to convert it to, like, a layman's equivalent. But, so... There's this thing that all print designers have to use within the Adobe software. So then, when they take, you know, their design files to the printer, it prints out the correct color. Okay? Every single print designer has to use this. It... it there's no avoiding it. There's no avoiding it. Right? So Adobe, in their infinite wisdom, is like, hmm, we know that everyone has to use this. How about we make it a monthly subscription? So now anyone that's in print not only has to pay for the Adobe suite, they also have to pay for the privilege of using what used to be free. And it is quite literally just a series of instructions that tell the printer, hey, use this color. It's just a bunch of color values. It's nothing. It's not a feature. It's just a bunch of color values. And they're charging extra for that now. Wait, making the software so out of reach in the market where you can literally download the software anyway. It has to be cutting massively into the potential profits. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Like, here's the thing. The way that they see it is anyone that wants to get into design professionally, they'll probably end up at a company that buys their software anyway. But for the general public, I don't believe that they ever think that the general public will be paying their subscription fee. It's, it's kind of... they're not going to lose in that regard. It's really people that use it in a professional, like, heavy enthusiast manner. That's where they really care about. Like, someone that's using Photoshop, pirating Photoshop to create memes, they don't care about. You learned this the other day because the client put it, didn't put it in the correct color format and you altering it was a fee. Yep. Yep. It would, it would be like this, right? It would be like, let's say... Let's say you went to a vending machine... And you got yourself a soda out of the vending machine, right? And you pay your money for your soda, you're happy... And you know, as you're about to open your soda, someone walks up to you and is like, I'm sorry, that's gonna cost you another $2 to open that can. 
You see, we have a fee when someone opens up the can. Like, that's pretty much what they're doing. It's just like something so instrumental. They're just slapping a subscription fee on it, and it's just. Ah, oh, man. But let, let's just leave it at that. Like, personally, I think Monopolies are horrible because that's when they start doing that sort of shit. But also, for anyone, like, wanting to do graphic design or aspiring to be a graphic designer, just try to avoid Adobe where possible. I know that some of the alternatives, they don't work quite the same, but... At the end of the day, if you can do 90% of what you're doing and in an alternative, just use the alternative. Get a corporate job and get them to pay. I would add to that, get a corporate job and make your corporate job change and not use them. Because that's certainly what I did. Not to say that I have a corporate job, but... I definitely made a shift to be like, all right, let's not use Adobe products anymore. Mr. Power Play? Hardly. <laughs> I mean, I work at a startup, so I'm able to kind of do that. I'm aware that it's not always feasible, but I'm just saying, if you're ever in a position to make the shift and the change... I mean, who knows what else they're gonna paywall in future. Like, if they're gonna paywall a color table... I wouldn't put it past them to, like, start paywalling certain tools one day. I know that's a bit of dooming, but... But yeah, uh, I know they're owned by Adobe now, so it's kind of harder for me to recommend Figma to people. But before they got purchased by Adobe, I was recommending anyone that asked, so how do you do your YouTube thumbnails? How do you do all that stuff? I was like, yep, use Figma. It does pretty much everything you want to do for a YouTube thumbnail or like any sort of stream branding. Okay, here we go. I need to survive. Paywall to factor authentication. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh no. For those, for those of you playing at home, um, Twitter put a paywall behind SMS to factor authentication. And now here's the thing in terms of two factor auth, SMS is probably one of the worst methods, but at least it's something. And, you know. To pay all that, I, I just, I can't believe that, like, you know what's a sign of a healthy company? One that doesn't start penny-pinching penny chat. The moment, the moment they start going, hmm, where can we save a few cents or make a few bucks out of everyone, it's probably time to uh, have a little cause for concern, I don't know. Apparently, Facebook is doing the same, doing the same as what? Removing two-factor auth? Or paywalling? Hey, honestly, anything that leads toward to the end of Facebook, I'm happy for. I will be happy to see... The two companies that I would want to see not exist one day... Uh, Meta and Adobe. Just straight up, those two. That's every company right now, global economy. I, I suppose, but like... I mean, in the case of Twitter, it's, it's considered one of the pillars of the internet currently. Like, 
It's one of those big websites that um, a large percentage of the population kind of congregates on, right? So it's a bit different in that sense. Like, imagine if YouTube started doing that or like something like Wikipedia, which I guess they kind of ask for money constantly, but it's different. You don't have a Twitter account. I mean, I honestly wouldn't either, except at a certain point I had to do it for work. And as a streamer, I should probably have one. So, you know, there's that. Well, I've survived the 31 minutes, but let's just see how far I can go. You like Facebook for their marketplace. You sold so much there and just lied about selling stuff so you don't pay their fees. <laughs> hey, more power to you. No, yeah, the Facebook marketplace, um... For selling stuff locally, I, I can definitely see there's a use for it. I know people that do sell stuff on it. In fact... The, there's a scam going around in Australia. I don't know if you're aware of this, Laura. Maybe you've heard of it, but like... There are people that go to Kmart and Target, uh, or Big W, and they purchase furniture from there, and then they put it on the uh, Facebook Marketplace for like $10 more expensive than what they bought it for to try and make money. So, you know, they'll be like, oh yeah, table, brand new, blah, 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 in really good condition. And because it's, you know, Kmart, people think, oh wow, that's really good for like a table. But they don't know it's from Kmart. So it's effectively flipping Kmart products. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I beat it. Wow, they died. I thought they weren't gonna die, but okay. But it's specifically to the Facebook Marketplace, that's the funny part. It, it just doesn't happen anywhere else, I don't know why. You got scammed on the Facebook Marketplace, really? Was that one of these, uh, like, Kmart thingies? There was a designer vanity table and designer seat for 130. It was too good to be true. Okay, well, I, I can't survive this anyway. Um, there it is. Reach minute 31. Okay, that's another achievement under my belt. Do I have enough money for this character yet? Not yet. <laughs> Still a while away. But, yeah, I mean, I've been going through Steam and just looking at the achievements I have left to get in this. So I need to do the same thing with Gallo Tower and the Old Sanctuary. And I think if I just keep using this character, it should be fine. Like, it's very good at avoiding those Reaper things, just because of that confusion item. You like the Shadow Onyxy dude? Shadow Onyxy dude? You pay it off-site on their website. <laughs> oh, this thing. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, but yeah, we'll, we'll pick this up. Again, I'll, I'm done with this for today. You know, this is my go-to when I just want to kind of chill out for a bit after work and just talk and stream, so. It's a good one. Um, maybe at the end of the week, but for now. That'll do for Vampire Survivors. I just need a couple of minutes, so we'll do a couple of minute inter intermission. I'm going to refill my water bottle, first of all. But then also set up the Wii U so we can uh, continue Wind Waker. So if you're down for that, stick around. Uh, I'll just be a couple of minutes. But otherwise, if you're here for Vampire Survivors, thanks for watching. Or later, if you're watching on YouTube again. Alright, bye YouTube. <laughs>
That's what you're about, 